Hey guys, today is a special Halloween edition tutorial for a DIY zebra mask. Starting with the hair, I'm going to bust out my banana clip and my Diva Curl set up and above versatile styler. I'm going to smooth the styler all over the outer perimeters of my hair and then use a comb to smooth out any bumps. Next, I'm going to gather my hair into a ponytail and secure the banana clip, leaving the bang area a little loose. Using a couple bobby pins, I'm going to leave that front area slightly lifted by securing it that way. Now onto the makeup. I'm using the white shade from my Makeup Forever Flash Palette, but you can use any cream white makeup to get the job done. I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and cover my entire face and neck area. Next I'm going to set my makeup with a puff using a colorless powder. This one is from Ben Nye. I think it's important to have a reference photo handy, so I've found two zebra photos that give me an idea of where to draw my stripes. I'm going to start with my eyes by using a black eyeliner to fill the entire lid and bottom lash line. Don't forget to also fill in the waterline. Next I'm going to do a reverse wing around the inner eye. You can use a black pencil or also a liquid liner for more precision. Then I'm going to extend the wing to my temples and thicken the area to mimic zebra stripes. Using any black eyeshadow, I'm going to set the areas used with black pencil to intensify the pigment. Next, I'm going to outline the nose and muzzle area with my black pencil. Since this is a larger area to fill, I'm going to use the black shade from my flash palette, but use whatever black cream makeup you have. Now using a large shadow brush, I'm setting this area with black eyeshadow. Something cool I noticed on my reference photo was that my zebra had a soft brown area surrounding the nose and muzzle, so I thought I would sweep a little brown shadow around the perimeter. Now for the fun part, the zebra stripes. I'm not going to tell you any specifics on where to place your stripes because it's more unique to find a photo and make it your own. But I will mention that I will be alternating between black pencil eyeliner set with black eyeshadow and a liquid liner for the thinner lines. So just get creative with it.
Now that I've reached the neck area, I'm going to use a flat synthetic brush and black cream makeup to add larger V-shaped stripes down the center of my neck. And that completes the look. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this look and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.